Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Today we are playing a bunch of new missions because we are on a planet that has some really really good one and I want to play them with you. Also I want to build a German Gunda with you today and I really hope that we can get into that territory. First of all we have to repair our battle damage from the last mission though. So here is the next financial report and I think as far as I can tell because um, I haven't played the game in a while. Um, I think our oh, Black Knight got some um, repairs to do, so uh, let's see. Yomungandr is ready now, so let's see if we can put an engine in there. I think that would be the next big thing. Is that... what? what is... what is that? Is that... oh my god! You changed the model! Holy cow! Alright, now that is cool. We got a new model for that thing. Yeah, as you might tell, I just updated. Um, I'm in a new recording session, by the way, and if you're wondering why I'm saying I haven't played that game for a while. I just played it yesterday. I just uploaded a video on yesterday. No, obviously not. Um, I'm always pre-recording a little bit, and um, I think I haven't played this game in a like week or so. Anyhow, uh, let's keep going, guys. We are... We are here to put a fusion core and uh, an engine into that thing. Engine first. I want that XL clan engine. Not enough free slots, though. Wait, why not? Wait, wait, why, why not? There should be enough slots. Give me a second, guys. What is going on here? I mean, there's ammo in there. Oh, look at that. There was a, ah, there was a violation on the ammo. Maybe that was the reason. Yes, that is it. All right, so we have that XL engine, which costs us four million. Four freaking million C bills before we can do anything with that thing. All right, guys, I think we have to get some more money today. Um, but I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking that we could just uh, go to the store and maybe sell something. I want to keep building that thing. That is super duper important. Look at those missile racks. This is so beautiful. Now, uh, let's go to the selling here. Uh, I know I have some uh, medium max that I want to keep, though. I want to keep them online. What I can think about here is uh, getting rid of that fusion core. Sure. Getting rid of that fusion core. Sure. One of them. Uh, we need one engine for the Jormungandr, that's very important. There's a regular XL engine and I think I'm gonna get rid of that thing as well. It's just good money. It's a lot of it. And uh, from that point on, double heatsink. Uh, we can get rid of the proto heatsink here. 20%... Ooh, wait, 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 20%? It used to be 10, didn't it? Hmm. Now oh, that's super interesting now. Damn it. Why would you buff that? Alright, we're gonna sell that, and from this point on, I'm just looking for the either big stacks of things that I don't need anymore, or something that is very valuable that I'm not using anyway. Anticipating clan armor, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, the mask, we have to put that into... Oh, there's obsolete. No! Sell this item before it will be... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna sell this then. Is there any other obsolete stuff here? We have some weapon mounts. No, not really. Jump jets. Let me take a look at standard heat sinks. Uh, we only have eight. All right, so we're gonna go down here and see if we can get rid of some uh, stuff as well here. LB2, medium rifle. Uh, we have one Gauss rifle. I think I wanna keep that. There's an AC-10, an AC-20. Oh, let's get rid of that AC-10, sure. Machine gun arrays. Oh, I like them, I gotta say. Ultra 5, goodbye. Uh, and then there's ammo. Okay, so that's the ballistic section. Let's go over here. Bombast laser. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. The death stare. Uh, that thing is bugged. It's, I mean, it was bugged when I tried it the last time, but maybe it's still bugged. So I will get rid of that as well. Pirate flamer. Uh, at some point, I really want an overheating mech again. Large lasers, though. I'm not a fan of large lasers, I gotta say. Here we go. Get rid of that. We are here to get, to get money. Or the Yomungandr. Uh, we are out of medium pulse laser range now. Uh, same as uh, for the VSPL. Yeah, we're getting close. There's a PPC that we don't need. Bunch of small lasers. I think we can get rid of them. Can we? I don't know. Let's take the, the missile thing here. <laughs> the arrow. Definitely keep me that. Absolutely. I also want to keep my enhanced LRM-20s. Because I think this could be something. We could deal 6 damage with each missile. Uh, when we are at super long range, so I want to keep that thing. MMLs can now run SRM and um, LRM ammo. That is pretty cool. Uh, that's with the new patch. So that would be technically an SRM-7 that can shoot at long range. So I like that idea. MRMs, 
yeah, let's get rid of the 20. Then we got a bunch of SRM6 triple plus. Oh yeah, that's good. That's very good. Uh, Thunderbolt 15, sure. Uh, I want to keep the Thunderbolt 20. Um, ATM high explosive, sure, we keep that. Um, I mean, we have the money now. We have the money now. The Narc launcher, I think I'm not using that thing at all anymore. Uh, Narc beacon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not really... Wow, tags, we have a bunch of them. By the way, tag cannot fire into melee anymore. That is a shame, but I think it's fair. It's just fair. So, and here we are again, uh, ready to put the XL engine into our mech. And then uh, we're gonna see uh, what we can do <laughs> otherwise. Oh my god. <clears throat> By the way, Artemis ammo. Uh, Artemis um, 5. Increased critical chance. It doesn't give you the hit chance bonus anymore. But we still have the crit chance, we still have the range increased, we still have 50% reduced minimum range, and most importantly, breaching shot. And that means that I think I want a combination of uh, probably the enhanced LRMs and then maybe th two Thunderbolt 15 launchers. Or, no, no, Thunderbolt 20 launchers. Because breaching shot is really, really good at that. But for the moment, we invest into the XL engine. Oh my god, confirm this. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, 4 million sea builds. <laughs> so, 9 days. Alright, 9 days for the Black Knight. I think we need that thing. I'm gonna wait for that, because I want to play it. Here we go. 1 and 0. Perfect. Now we need to properly repair the mask that we lost in the last mission. Ooh, the mask is crucial. We need to put that into the mech again. It was a clan mask. Uh, I think we're getting some slot problems here. Where is my Inner Sphere mask? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So, in that regard, we are one ton over. Mm, what do we lose? The Field Tampener? No. Definitely not. I think it's gonna be the C3 Slave unit. There's nothing I can do. I have to have the mask. Mm, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Goodbye. Hello. We're gonna play again. Here we go, guys. Wait, what was that? Why was there a violation on... Oh, you're ready already. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, guys, I need money before I do anything else here. And um, I also think about uh, rebuilding the Mirax. I mean, the Thunderbolt ear PPC combination is fine at the moment. However, I, I think I want the Thunderbolt on this thing. And... Use it as my missile launcher, and then the Mirax is gonna use some, I don't know, maybe more energy weapons, maybe more ballistics, but it, it will it will see some other light of day. Alright guys, we gotta play another mission, there's no way around that. So we wait for the Black Knight to be ready, and we're gonna take a look at our mech warriors, and then we're gonna drop on the battlefield. So, here we go. Let's see, Coach is still training in the simulators, Pinto as well. Skyros, what about you, man? What about you? Can we get higher tactics? Three initiative. It's also three initiative. Mm, it's not really what I want. Stability damage taken. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna take that. I will go with higher piloting. And... Probably... Higher piloting here as well. That maximum evasion is gonna be in handy. Uh, Ulysses is driving towards... The overheat threshold, sure, we're gonna we're gonna take that as well. And then there's von Cobra who's still going for the higher tactics. All right, so here we go, guys. We're gonna take a e rather easy mission early uh, because I wanna get into the game again. So we have four out of seventeen salvage. What we also need uh, next to, of course, money is stuff that we can put into the German Gunder. We have three LRM twenties, um, but twenties are not great. I gotta say, twenties soak up so much weight. For the stuff that they do, I mean, this is um, not really good. Especially the enhanced LRMs, which weigh a little bit more even. So I'd rather have some 15s, LRM 15s, probably. And then, again, the Thunderbolt missiles that will add up. If we can find arrow ammunition, I'd be so happy. I would definitely put an arrow into, into that Yomunganda. Because it can take it. It can, uh, or it has to spare weight. And I really, really want that thing to, to shoot deadly missiles from the sky. But yeah, for the moment, for the time being, we're gonna play that uh, three and a half skull mission. 
Should be fairly easy, I just want to get into the game again, and then we're gonna do something harder later. I see, or I saw earlier, that we got a 4.5 Skull Assassination. Also a thing that I'm considering. I get to choose between Hellfire or a Frozen Death. Yo, let's go guys. Let us go. Sprinting forward. Oh my god, I was I was watching I was watching um Journey Quest again. And I was <laughs> I was so in resonance with that with that knight character, I forgot his name already. Uh the guy that says onwards all the time. And he is like kind of you know, a character that likes to, to rush and, and likes to to solve problems with aggression. And I'm like, yep, 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 that, that's me. That's perfectly me. That's absolutely me. So that's what we do. Onwards! I've got eyes on oh, you got reinforcements. reinforcements. They're yeah. your way. Okay. Uh, it's unfortunate, but nothing we can solve here. Let's move. A Zephyr and a Bulldog. Oh man, it looks like we are trying to crush some tanks here. All right, here's the multi-target. I'm gonna shoot the Thunderbolt over to the Bulldogs so that we have the breaching shot. Roger. One hit on the Zephyr, pretty good. And that sadly was a miss. Negative damage. Negative damage. Negative. Ready for orders. Uh, yeah, you, Skyros, you really want to punch the tank. But you have to have line of sight to punch the tank. For that yes, reason, Commander. we have to establish that somehow. Uh, AC-10 Plasma. I'd rather shoot the guy here in the front. I guess. That's not really good. Ah, anyway. Fire. We have a tag applied. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we see another guy, which is another bulldog. Le -haim. Guys, I want to shoot mechs and not tanks. Hey, but maybe we can find another mech in, like, uh, the one that we saw before. This is where we got our Yomungunda. We were facing a lot of tanks and then all of a sudden the Yomungunda was coming out and saying, Hi, I'm here. Please salvage me. Maybe there's something like that happening here. Okay, so... Uh, sure. Should be a kill. Yep. So it should be a kill because the guy was already critical on one of his sides, and um, I have a lot of splash that can just um, just throw a lot of individual small damage instances, uh, and one of them would have hit the side. Uh, by the way, sensor lock now uh, removes two evasion and lasts for I think three turns, which is cool. I, I like that idea. So sensor lock is now actually quite viable to have it on the pilot because you just sensor lock once and then uh, you shoot over the next consecutive turns. And then you occasionally throw out a sensor lock again and then keep shooting over the next few turns. Up, I like that idea. Of course the evasion is only reduced once and uh, but you can keep the, the sensor lock bonus. You can uh, keep the, uh, the lock on the guy so you see him on the sensors. Um, yeah, where to go? I don't know. I'm gonna reserve here. Also, hesitation has been... Uh, how do you say it? Buffed? Hesitation has been buffed. So a negative has been buffed. So it is more strict now. It can also linger for two turns. Uh, that's kind of, uh, you know, scary. Okay, so we have some enemies here. Uh, three, and we have four up here. Oh, it's a missile carrier. Receiving you. Uh -oh. I want to get that guy off the field as quickly as possible, but not with 4% chance. Nope. Ready for orders. So I think this turn is just getting into cover, setting up for next round. There's nothing we can do really. Uh, what I want to do here is this. Hi, Zephyr, Primitive Tank, and the Bulldog. And... Yep. Wait a second, what happened? Is it real plasma lands, pirate lands? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Forgot that I took out the um, the death stay already, and that's the the reason why we could uh, why we could actually um, sell it earlier. Got We're gonna do this here. There's a little bit of damage. Yes, commander. Good. So Starbrodo. Starbrodo wants to shoot the guy in the back, the primitive tank, because it ha we have a higher chance against the guy. And then we're gonna use the Black Knight to punch the Zephy. Although I have to say, that guy has a pretty low ev evasion. Uh, not evasion, initiative. What's going on here? The pilot is cautious. Wow. And we got minus nine for hesitation? What? 
We weren't hesitating so much. Were we? Oh my god. Minus nine. That is a lot. That is a lot. Okay. What about von Cobra? I'm gonna check him out as well here. Uh, is that? Initiative. Minus three. <laughs> okay. Alright, tank. Just move out. Come on. Yeah. Always takes so long for the tanks. But it's fine. So again, what I need to do is uh, getting rid of the missile carrier in the outskirts. Thing is uh, rather scary. Systems holding. 60 ton. So it's not a heavy missile carrier. I don't think that it has the ability to run Thunderbolt 15s. Hmm. No, the heat is critical. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Yeah, that's fine. Ish. If that was the missile carrier, I shouldn't be afraid of it. Was it? I don't know. Ah, there's a Jäger mech. Well, I mean, why, why not a Jäger? Why the hell not? I could salvage that thing. Or I could try to salvage that thing. So we can shoot the Jäger, no problem. We can also shoot the missile carrier. In fact, I want to see if I can reasonably hit him. I mean, that's 20-something. You know what? I'm gonna do it. 10% miss? No. And here I miss as well. Negative damage. Alright, and we move over here. I want to get my Black Knight. Please give me my Black Knight back. Turn 5. Got something <laughs> well done. Crazy. Is that? Bulldog? Yeah. Mm, I want to stay in the forest, I gotta say. But I get a better hit chance here. So I think we'll just shoot the primitive tank. In order to hopefully destroy it. We didn't. Skyros is gonna go ahead and destroy the bulldog. Yeah, let's do it from here. Perfect. Vehicle destroyed. And um, that's gonna be it for that round. Alright. Yeah, we are sadly not that evasive, but I think our void system should do a wonderful job because we didn't move that much. And as far as I can tell, the whole stealth things, um, they work better if you are steady. If you move too much, you basically give yourself away. And um, yeah, in a scenario like that, when we are shooting or when they are shooting at, at quite long ranges, against a target that has stealth, or a void system in that regard. That shouldn't be um, an easy hit. Barely a hit, Commander. Okay. The tank lost weapons? Oh, that might have been single shot weapons, or it exploded. I don't know. So here's the thing that I do not like about the Zephyrs. Um, those, those guys take so long to compute their movement after they shoot. Ah, uh, this is just... Ah, uh, annoying. Uh-huh. Pretty good damage there, I have to say. Commander. It is a catapult. All right, now we're talking. Hello, Mr. Catapult. You can deal with them here, right? Yeah, you can deal with the tanks, no problem. Moving forward. Moving to position. Shooting the Bulldog a bit more. You know what? I'll go for the Warlord ability so that we can maybe destroy the tank. No, not with the splash weapons. Absolutely not. Uh, my plan is to go for the Bulldog with my uh, shooting max and my Black Knight can just mop them up down here. That was fun. Damage is minor, Commander. All right. A lot of stuff happening there. Come on. A tank. Okay. Ready for orders. The shoot again. Ah, let's go. Let's just focus on. Oh wait, that's the missile carrier. The Inferno SRMs and the Narc. Oh my god. All right. As I was saying earlier, missile carriers are priority. As much as I want to shoot the Bulldog again. Did I? It's 143. We cannot grind through that, not easily. But we can destroy this here. Or we almost destroy it. <laughs> Damn it. 
Uh, next round, we're gonna... Good damage. Um, we're gonna go for the missile carrier and then the bulldog. We leave the mechs for the last. Good to go. Uh, just because... Because of reasons. Because we might find something that we want to keep here. Uh, okay, no, no line of sight to the missile carrier. And get it here. Position confirmed. Let's go. I'll do it like that. So that we have two chances to actually hit the front of the missile carrier again. Multiple enemies locked on. <laughs> Didn't get it. That's a solid hundred, though. Damn it. Hey there. So Skyros, uh, who's next? Primitive tank? No. We're gonna go for the Zeph here for the main reason that that thing Order takes too long to process. Let's go. It's just annoying for the flow of the gameplay. Alrighty. And when you're done with that, you can go for the Jäger mech. I think we can afford multi-targeting here. We have a good amount of splash that we want to bring to the side of the um, of the Bulldog. And we, doesn't, we don't need that much on the front here. So I think we can do this. Two LRMs to kill the missile carrier and then the more pinpoint-ish weapons against the side of the Bulldog with a higher hit chance. Let's do it. Vehicle destroyed! Ah, oh, come on! That had to be a kill. A double kill, honestly. I mean, this is so, so low. And this is also pretty good. So, next uh, guy to get a chance to destroy those two is Ulysses in turn 17. Hmm, really hope that they are lower in initiative with their tanks. Let's see. That's phase 18, catapult pushing forward. I don't care about your missiles. No problem. Um, we get it, actually. Cool. Another chance. Here we go. Um, I think I want to do it like that. And... There's the kill. So what we need to do now is we need to kill, destroy one, one single left. tank and then we can think about what we want to salvage or which I'm mech we want way. to destroy. So here we go. I copy. Now we deal with the Jäger mech and the catapult. Two actu actually quite nice mechs. I don't necessarily need them as a chassis because I have better mechs already. But maybe we can just preserve the stuff that is built in there to pick some, I don't know, fusion cores, weapon systems, anything like that. I go with incendiary ammo here. Oh, they changed that! Ah, okay, so you can now switch the ammo by clicking the ammo type here and the fire mode by clicking the hit chance. Okay, that's cool. I like that idea. Yeah. And shoot! Right. It's pretty cool. On my way. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put the cataphract on the front because it's already pretty damaged. But I think go. ultimately it doesn't really make a difference. Ooh, that's interesting. That's Full super face. interesting. I think in this case here, yeah, we're gonna shoot the catapult. Feel the heat. Some nice retaliation, but nothing critical. Uh, your heat is critical, though. And that is pretty good, because now we can use um, Van Cobra in the Cataphract. Okay, this is scary. Uh, we can use Van Cobra in the Cataphract and um, overheat the people. Yep. I'm gonna reserve here. I want Van Cobra first. Uh, I, sh I think I cannot... Oh, I can get line of sight here from the side for the higher hit chance. Firing. Overheat? I mean, that's 114 heat. That's pretty good. Skyros. Skyros, Skyros. I want him in the open so that he is um, a good target for the Jäger mech. A target that the Jäger mech hopefully won't hit. Yeah. And in order to get rid of this guy, I think I'll go for the headshot shenanigans. 25%. Nah. I think that was the engine. See. Yes, Commander. Oopsie. Sorry. 
I want to get closer. I want to get direct line of sight. Yeah, let's shoot him. Ah, that was the rocket launcher, dude. I see. And I think we completely missed everything. Oh, gee. Yes, Commander. Hi, dude. Engage. No, we did not. Oh, my God. Look at that. He is overheating again. Yep. Orders. Same thing again here. Yeah, the last Thunderbolt. Let's go for the face. Let's even use Warlord so that we don't get the chance to overheat ourselves. Copy that. No, that was not a headshot. A headshot would have been lethal. And down goes the Jägermeck. Copy that. Sky Ross, do we even need to do anything here? Let's see what this baby can yeah, we hit the side big time. Uh, let's go with, with this. We have a head hit? Alright. And now he's standing up again. So do I want that rocket launcher Jägermeck? I don't know. No idea what core he is running there. Hmm. Uh, I will not shoot the mediums, I'm just shooting the missiles. Or... Okay. Solid connection, that one. For getting the chance on critting him. But we didn't get it. So, what we need now is another knockdown. In order to get that, I'll shoot kind of this. I copy. We didn't get the knockdown. What do you need? I mean, that would be a knockdown, right? One PPC. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Wait, head destroyed. He panicked. Haha! -ha! That means we got some good parts still on the field. We could save the engine. Alrighty, guys. That was a good first opener here, I would say. It was uh, quite an easy mission. But uh, we also got some money out of this. And, of course, uh, we are here for the salvage. Now, let's take a look. What did we get? Chuff rocket launcher. Quantity 2. Does it mean I can take two of them? No. That means that you can shoot them twice. Okay, let me see. Um, flare shaft, countermeasures, cloud the target and radar inhibiting materials. Target has one impaired accuracy, has 30% reduced sight, 60% reduced sensors, uh, carries internal ammo that will explode, missiles has 20% AMS interception modifier, single salvo of five rockets. Hmm. I believe that... Now wait, quantity four, quantity... Wait, do I take all of that? Why is it saying... Why does it say quantity 4? I had the feeling that they are actually four fluid guns that I take in bulk then? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how this works. We have six medium... La it seems like that. Look at that. Can I take six medium laser for a single... Like for a single uh, priority salvage here? Hmm. That's interesting. We got five, five rocket launches, so it seems. Uh-huh. Got a lot of SRM-6s. So I have four SRMs, okay? Um, I need to check that. I mean, if I can take that, that's good money. That would be a nice way to get money. Um, I got four. If I have 11 afterwards, um, then um, this is interesting. I'm going to take that as a... Um, you know what? Let's take something that is <laughs> a bit more interesting. Uh, as the um, as a science here, let's go ultra five. I have none. I think I'll take them. Okay, they are stacked by two. Uh huh. Interesting. ECM, IC engine, three of them here. Hmm. Two guarding ECM, six heat sinks, double heat sinks, jump jets. Oh, it makes it quite tough to read, honestly. Um, Inferno. Fluid. Yeah, that's fine. Double LRM bin, Inferno SRMs. If three already, I think we don't need any more. Okay, so what do I want here? I think I go for the mech parts. Mm. And then we'll take the auto cannon. Let's go. I need to check that. And I want the catapult. Let's go. One, two, three. Now. If we have two autocannons after this, they are coming in bulk. And we also get two Jägermeck parts, which I'm actually happy about. Uh, we got the chaff, we got six medium lasers. All right, lots of rockets. A uh, bunch of vehicle flamers. I have zero, so I should have four after this. We got the engine core, which we can sell, and the double heatsink kit, oh my god. That's pretty good, good value here, and we can sell a lot of that. All right. 
Okay, let's see. Two Ultra Auto Cannons, four Vehicle Flamers. That should be the thing. And if that's, if that's the case, do I like that? Let me think about that. I guess, yeah. I guess I like that, because um, it makes it easier to, to get some value out of your random salvage when you have those stacked items that you can just get rid of afterwards. Okay, 13 days for the repairs, that's fine. Now let's take a look at the store. A low store. I'm gonna sell my autocannons now, and I wanna see if we have two. Uh, yeah, we have two. We have two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Vehicle Flamers. We should have four. Yeah, we have four Vehicle Flamers now. Okay, so that makes a crap salvage, as in, oh my god, I just got a heatsink, or oh my god, I just got one medium laser, makes it better. But um, as far as I can tell, um, some contractors are gonna take the good stuff now. As the random salvage. I don't know. I read something like that in the patch notes. Here we go, guys. We're gonna wait a bit and then we are playing the next mission. That's what we are here for. Man, I really need to get rid of that Ilya Moromitz. That thing is so bad. In our circumstance. It was, um, it was a vehicle that got us through the mid-game. But now that we got way better options, I, um, I really want to get rid of that. I think I want to replace that with the Yermonganda. Um, we got some new missions here. Wow. Interesting. Coupé. Uh-uh. No. Uh, we're gonna play another raiding party, I believe. That was fun. Mm, we could get some money out of this. Some money. Mm, some money. I also want salvage. Let's get, let's get the two priority salvage here. And um, play once more on the battlefield. And we're gonna see how this goes. So, bit of money, bit of salvage. I'm still looking for uh, equipment for the German Gunder. So, what I also need is um, LRM 15s, plus, 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 something like that. That's the thing that I really, really want. Uh, the enhanced LRM 20s will help us um, for the time being, probably. Um, but yeah. Also, ammo. Ammo for the uh, arrow and ammo for Thunderbolt 20s. That is what we need. We got another Thunderbolt 20 lying in the storage, but we are not using it because we don't have enough ammunition to feed it. So minimum two more bins of Thunderbolt 20 and then we can go dual 20. Um, but other than that, it's not really feasible. Alright, here we go, guys. Your turn. Sprint forward! Onwards! Let's go. And now you. Yeah. Perfect. Also, I think I want to build my mechs a little bit more into the long-range bracket, because I have my melee mech that can rush the front line, and the other guys are sitting in the back all the time. There's a tank. A cargo truck. Oh, great. Um, and for that reason, um, I want them to be able to shoot something. Aha! Oh, they have a mechie. Look at that. A Galleon, uh, there's another missile carrier, and then MRM Scorpion, and that is a cargo truck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna shoot the Mackie. Mackie is uh, the primitive uh, 100 ton assault mech. Sensors have something. Yeah. Sensor lock, not great. I'm gonna ignore the reinforcements for the time being because there's nothing I, I can do against them. I should do yeah. against them, really. Uh, you go down here. I want to establish line of sight. Got it. Twenty ton cargo truck. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is, yeah, we go multi-target. Um, Scorpion, and probably get destroyed by a single PPC. Let's go. Acknowledged. Nope, it cannot. You're dead though, and the Mackie. Oh, Thunderbolt missed. Damn it. I was hoping. The dream. The dream was real. So, here is the Mackie. Ow? Reporting. Could you not? Is, is, not? is not an option? Wow. That guy got me good. And we didn't kill the Scorpion. 
reporting critical hit. I was really hoping for it. All right, Skyro. Damn it. I was hoping that Skyros can get in here and um, and punch the Maki. Let's do it like that. No shooting and we're going to shoot the other guy so that we destroy it. Shooting the Maki wouldn't have done anything. We want to punch him next round anyway and kill him in one blow, probably. Ooh. Yeah, that's rough. That is very rough. Mm, yeah, I have to move if I want to get line of sight. Do I even shoot a Mackey? I don't think so. This is, by the way, a Crusader. Oh, a Crusader! Beautiful mech. A very beautiful mech. Hmm. Hmm, difficult. I mean, I could shoot a Mackey, but I could also just not and wait for some other opportunity Holding for Starbird. And Skyros is gonna punch the Mackey to death. And that's the plan. So, I think we wait. I could have used Von Cobra to get some heat on the Mackie. 62. Yeah, we'll take that. That upsized urban mech. I like it. It's a lot of Thunderbolt 5s, by the way. That's coming from the missile carrier in the outskirts. Alright, Skyros, Berserk, kill. I just want to get the Mackie off the field. And that's how we do it. Bread, bread. <laughs> All right. Got it. So go. now for the other guys, I think I have to push in some direction if I want to get something done, or we just shoot our thunderbolt to the missile carrier. Fifty-one percent, fifty-seven, fifty-seven. I want that thing off the field. Locked on. Ah, we didn't hit. Yeah, I know. You missed. Move into position. Get to cover, please. Okay. Good to go. So, cargo truck? That's a dead cargo truck. Vehicle and that's 100% of the enemy unit. So we only have to deal with the reinforcements. Like, quote unquote only. Uh, it still might be something that is surprising aye, us. Aye. Let's see. Starbrodo. They have a lot of missile rain, we should really push them. Orders. All right. On the move, full speed. Let's start softening up that missile carrier. Just Sorry. using Warlord for some heat reduction and hit chance. Miss, 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 miss. I'm super happy to see that. That's cool. All right. And uh, Mr. Done. Cobra can't do anything. Will it change in the next few rounds? I don't think so. So we push. Going full throttle. Here we go. Could have used Vigilance, but I want to get inspired later. So that's the Need thing that I want to try to establish there. Let's Hello, go. Missile Carrier. Have some lasers. On it. Hey, structure is exposed. Waiting for orders. You know what that means. Next round we can use uh, the catapult to completely destroy the guy. You know what, I'm gonna use Warlord on the missile carrier in the back. And this time we get the kill. Pretty good. So I was going for the target in the background because this guy here... He's gonna get uh, killed by my splash weapons because the side torso is already, or sight is already open. Big, big time. And the front is already pretty thin in terms of armor. So is our Mirax though. <laughs> oh my god. Commander. Okay. Shoot him. Ah. Copy that. It's not enough. All right, we're gonna go into the forest. On the move. There's the galleon. I'm hit. Uh, <laughs> He's I'm getting a head hit from behind. Damn it, von Cobra. Yeah, that's okay. Light damage, holding firm. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm very well aware that we are losing quite a lot of armor here. Um, but think about it like that. We could completely over-optimize all the turns and take forever to play a single mission. Or we are just going through it like that and you get three missions uh, an episode. I think that's kind of a fair thing to do here. I mean, it's not really complicated, the stuff that we are doing at this point. 
So aye, aye. I'd rather take a bit of damage than uh, have more missions, miss missions each episode. All right, two more Thunderbolt missiles. I think I want to go ahead and try to overheat the guy. Let's see if we can establish that. Yes, go down here. Hi. And yeah. that's Ulysses. I, I want you later. Hmm. What about that? What about an offensive push? We still have a lot of hit chance. Targeting for an alpha strike. It's go time. I think that works. Yeah. Perfect. Definitely. That's a crusader on the ground. Oh yeah. That was good, guys. That was really, really good. Okay. Hmm. So our builds are kind of working. They 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 just especially the Mirax. What I want is probably another big pinpoint weapon on the Mirax. Oh my god. That's pretty good. So the question is, do I take the Crusader? I only have two priority picks here. Uh, I cannot take it. It's not possible. Uh, Mackie would be an option, but it's a Mackie. No, I'm not taking the Mackie. I'm going to take a look at the, at the stuff here that we can salvage. There are two 15s. Hmm. Two LRM 15s. I want plus and double plus, though. No, I'm not taking it. There's a pirate rock 20. Wait a second. What does that do? The weapon has a recoil of 6. Uh, okay, variation of 5. Pirate rock fires a barrage of smaller cal caliber shots of 5 and can change their fire rate between 1 to 6 shots, which increases heat recoil and jam chance. Oh, that was the pirate mechie that was running that thing. So we can choose to shoot 6 shots and we shoot Three shots or three projectiles each shot. That's 18 shots that deal 20 damage each. Okay. That's funny. But I don't want that. Do I? It's a 20 ton weapon though. Oh my god. It also has a recoil of six. That's just so much. I have no means to uh, mitigate the, the recoil at the moment. It's not possible. I'm not taking it. We got a bunch of thunderbolts. We had an armored cowl. No, thank you. Case, endo. No. IC engines, sure, fusion core, heavy jump jets. Really, this quantity thing makes it really tough to read and uh, browse through the stuff that is on the ground here. Light rifle. Mm. Nah. Improved MRM ammo. Nope. There is... I mean, there is rock ammo. And a lot of it. Four times even. I can take that. I can take that to have that. Or later. It's a fun weapon. It's not really good, but it's fun. It's basically just you spin up and you just fire and fire and fire and fire. Huh. But the misfire chance is huge. You have a 30% base misfire chance. Hmm. So am I right if I say that that thing has... You can choose between the fire rate of 1 to 6, okay? And the recoil... Is the maximum recall that you get. That means if you shoot once, you get one recall. If you shoot twice, you get two recall and so on. Up to a maximum of six. This is how I read this tooltip here. By the way, the fluff text is, So look, someone ma some madman who thinks he is a tech wired three Ultra 20s together with a barbed wire. Then cold welded them in place with some janky three-way feed system that somehow uses what looks like a gear-driven belt. So look, this thing should have a ton of firepower, but Commander, I wouldn't trust to not rattle. I wouldn't trust to not rattle the arm of the mech it's mounted on. Ugh. It sounds fun though. And we have weapon mounts that we can use. We can use that on the Mirax. Mm. We could also take the Crusader. Again, interesting mech. Ba -ba -ba, what do we take? What do we take? It's binary laser, also interesting. 61 damage. That's exactly the damage that we need to destroy a cockpit. 60% chance to deal a critical hit. Ah, it also has a damage variation. Ah, that makes it less reliable then. Hmm... I'm gonna take this. Let's go, guys. Just for the memes. Here we go. Rock 20 and Rock 20 ammo. <laughs> Let's take it. We got two Crusader parts anyway. We even got the LRMs, which is cool. Uh, medium lasers. Uh, I wish we had the plus plus lasers there. 
Small lasers, SRM sixes, and improved MRM ammo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gives us two accuracy. It's a very good ammo bin for MRMs if we ever want to use them. <laughs> All right. All right. So a bit of money, a bit of um, salvage. And I think I want to play another mission just again to prove my point. And we are already like 40 minutes into the video, but I think that's fine for you, right? You really like those hour long videos. So what we're going to do now is we quickly repair the stuff and then we drop on the battlefield in an instant. We cannot use von Cobra because he is injured now and our med bay is uh, not really built yet. So he's going to probably taking a long, long nap in the med bay. Let's see, 20 days? Ah, 15, okay. Next financial report coming in 10 days. Uh, but we are fine, yeah, we are safe. Throw a party! Happy birthday from Cobra! <laughs> Partying in the med bay. Dude, take it, take it slow, take it slow on the alcohol there. You're still recovering from your injury. Cool, six days on the Black Knight. It's kind of weird here that the financial report is eight days, but it's before the Black Knight. Am I right? Yeah, I am. Okay, so now um, we need a spare pilot. Let's take a look who is uh, gonna drop here. I think it's gonna be Coach. Coach still wants that uh, higher gunnery skill, so we're gonna take that. Uh, you got nothing, you got nothing. Ulysses got higher tactics. Sure, let's get that max evasion going. And yet again, I was saying, uh, we're gonna take Coach here and um, we just uh, take him so that he can get his Warlord ability. All right, next contract is gonna be, is gonna be, let's go for the destroy base mission and let's negotiate for a good money here yeah, because a low financial report. Um, we can take two salvage though, uh, and I will, I will. So here we go, coach Ilya Moromitz. And we're gonna drop now. Man, I still didn't get my arrow missile uh, ammo. I still did not get my Thunderbolt missile ammo. For that reason, I think for the next episode, we have to go higher on the challenge. Have to take things a little bit slower. Go for maximum salvage every single time. And then see if we can get that ammunition. I think next episode, we have some rebuilding time. Definitely. The German Gunda needs to see the light of day. That is uh, the thing that I want to get. And I think for the moment, we have to go for the 300 rated engine, although I wish he was a little bit faster. But 300 on a 100 ton mech with um, a long range setup that can fire indirectly, it should be okay. The only thing that I don't like about that idea is that there is a lot of armor that is not on the front line. And um, that means that all the other guys are getting shot a lot more than usual. So the damage wouldn't spread that much over all of my mechs, which means I have to play it more carefully. Alrighty guys, let's destroy that base. Let's go. Um, yeah, out of the rough terrain. If we can get in there, can avoid it. Roger. Mm-hmm. Let's go over here. I got you. I think I have to take a single turn over rough terrain anyway. I think there's no real way around it. Going full throttle. Okay. Here we are, huh? Ah, oh, Drillson. All right, and a commando. Uh, Drillson being a tank, commando being a mech. Uh, and then there is a oh, there's a Valkyria. Ah, that thing is scary. How do we get line of sight to the guy? Skipper. Maybe like that. A baller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the Valkyria, and I want to make it hot. Let's go. Uh, oh wait, ammo here. Firing. Get some heat, Valkyria. Commander. I really hope you like it. Okay. So we're gonna deal with the guys on the left side first. Because they are easily accessible. That's just the only reason. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What's the hit chance on the... What was that? Drills in here? 44. I mean, it's 93 on the Thunderbolt against the Valkyria. <gasps> or against the Commando. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Skyros can't do anything yet. So I'm gonna reserve him. 
Okay, somebody is shooting a single missile at my face. That is good. I mean, it is not, because I don't want to get hit by that. But it is good in general, because that means that we probably Affirmative. probably have something Thunderbolt-like there. Mm, we shoot the Valkyrie again. Getting additional heat on the guy. That's regular LRM. No. Yeah. Regular LRMs. Alright. Yes, as regular as regular can be. So, more heat on the Valkyria. And he's shut down. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want that guy to do anything against me. That thing is scary. Um, But we don't see it anymore. Which is kind of weird. Regular ammo here to cut a big hole into the bola. Not enough. Damn it. Problem is, again, I want line of sight. Okay, so what can we hit here? That's the commando. It's a heavy turret. Honestly, I really like to shoot the commando once more. Sorry, commando. Have a Thunderbolt missile. Roger that. Uh, whoop. <laughs> it's so fun! <laughs> Bullying light max with 100 pinpoint damage. Oh, I'm a bad person, I know. That poor commando. Uh, he doesn't even know where it's coming from. I think it was the turret, though, that shot me with the big missile. So we probably have to destroy that thing quickly. MG jammed. Yeah, I don't care about your MG. Hmm. Still, Valkyria is still there, and we have to destroy it and then uh, push the turrets quickly. That's the plan here. Good to go. He was here, right? Oh yeah, there he is. Um. Yeah. I really hope that I have initiative over him next round. Affirmative. This is something scary. That that is that is not okay. I don't care about those autocannons, but that single big missile is a problem. The commando is still up and running. <gasps> oh. Yeah. You see what happened? First hit, side torso. Second hit, the other side torso. Oopsie. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not sorry. Uh, the Vakirya decided to shoot here, which is good. I got acid on my Black Knight. I mean, it's not good that I have acid on my Black Knight. That's a... Oh, 30% increase. So they buffed the acid again. Uh-huh. Alright. They buffed the acid again. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that shines some new light on acid launchers. It used to be 30, then it was 20, and then it was 30 again. Uh, I think we'll use Berserk here, just for the sake of destroying that thing quickly. Goodbye. Or maybe not. Mm hmm. His heat is critical. Yeah, for sure. But. What are we gonna do against that guy now? He has uh, one injury only. Hmm. I'd rather have the guy dead so that I can focus on the turrets and everything else here. Yeah, that's fine so far. I think we really have to use our um, our Hydra missiles and the, the what's it called the the Thunderbolt over to the turret there because I don't trust the turret. This turret is not trustworthy, and it needs to get destroyed. <laughs> Another head hit. That's good. All right, we got that. Ready for orders. Mhm. Mm Let's do that. Shoot everything here. Thunderbolt over there. Panicked. Pretty good. Another 100. What are your orders, oof, oof, oof. That's not great. Uh, let's go for the headshot. Here we go. Whatever. Yeah. This is why I was so scared of this guy. Kind Viper Sword. You know, that's uh, a thing that can really ruin your day if it gets in uh, close range and is melee hitting you. Yes, Commander. Mm, okay, so how do we get line of sight to the turret? The answer is we don't. The answer is we don't. We shoot still all the r missiles over to the turret and quickly kill the commando while we are at it. 
Uh, there's also a tank still in my back, so I gotta keep track of that guy. Yes, Commander. Uh, I guess that's it. Right I guess that's how we roll here. Ooh, that was a waste of a thunderbolt. Eighty-five percent, and we still miss. I mean, yeah, sure. Are you good at shooting? How good are you? Show me your shooty skills. No, you're not good at shooting. <laughs> no joy. Yeah, it's my turn again, though. Um, I'm gonna ignore the tank for the time being. Uh, there's no reason to just hunt it down. I'd rather push to the front and let him come back later. He will be coming eventually. Commander. Good thing is that Starbird can now destroy the turret without a problem, Sorry. right? Yeah. I really, really wonder what that guy was running. I, and I hope that it is Thunderbolt uh, ammo that we have now available. Um. Yeah, we move off, off over here. Bola Infernus. Okay. What about the tank down there? There was a Drillson, right? Ready to rock. Okay. I'm rolling. Locking off. With all weapons different. That didn't do anything, sadly. But we kind of have to hunt him down as well. What's gonna happen now? Is the Drillson moving in? And I'm pretty happy that he does. Uh, I think in order to destroy the Bola in the back, we're gonna use our PPCs. Um, let's go Warlord. Honestly, do we need that? Do we need the last Thunderbolt missiles? I think yes, we're gonna keep that. Let's not waste that ammo. We can probably make good use of that later. Later, Tater. Alright, setting up for the punch next round. We can already shoot him in case there's something happening. But there's no reason not to shoot. Another one of those. That was coming from here. It was that turret. Alright. So we have a new target. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's get down there. And shoot all the direct fire weapons over here. And the LRMs, obviously, over here. Three hundred and sixty-four plus ten structure. That's what we need to do. Oh my god! I really do hope that we are not getting hit at all. So three hundred and it's a lot. It's still a lot to do. Yeah, coach. Here's what we do with coach. We shoot that guy again. Ah, we got that. That's good. And then we move down here already. I want to engage this turret as quickly as possible. <laughs> what I try to do with the Mirax is uh, getting an angle on both the, the vehicle and the turret at the same time now. So that we can keep up the damage against the turret already. And um, we destroy that nasty tank in the back. Let's see. Ulysses. Oh yeah, first uh, the Drillson needs to move. Those hover tanks. There we go. Receiving you. That's good. Let's move. That's exactly what I wanted here. Alright. Go that for B. Splitting five. That's to kill. Perfect. That's a hundred damage. That's also good. Ready You're gonna forward. punch this guy, and then we can now completely focus on the turrets in front of us. Perfect. So I want to keep one uh, Thunderbolt missile because there might be a chance that we get reinforcements on this mission and I want that Thunderbolt missile to hit something. I mean, not this Thunderbolt, the other one, mine. Very important to distinguish those two. Here we go, we are going full engage now. 175. Not really enough. That might be. And it is, perfect. My god, I wonder if that's a Thunderbolt or an arrow. It was a singular big missile. I mean, that's cool. Uh, I think I'll go for the geothermal rather than the rough terrain. Because I don't want to get knocked down. Good to go. And yet again, I'm going to keep one of those missiles for later. So here we go. Yes, Commander. Another turret bites the dust. Can we do it? No, we have to get closer. Man, this hill is kind of... Hard to traverse over. 
176 is needed. All right. Um, I think I have to go back here. <laughs> go all the way down there. Yep. Good thing is that Ulysses can sprint forward and uh, follow up on that. Let's go. It's 140 and... What's up, boss? Funnily enough, Skyros actually has the means to destroy that thing. Copy that. Mm, let's go. Not like that, though. Confirmed. Not like that. I'm there. Yo. Let's go. Heavy sniper turret. And then this other turret. We don't need much against the Bravo guy. So I'm going to shoot the laser and the plasma. Uh, and we're going to go for incendiary ammo against the other turret. Because it's more damage. Firing. Heat damage translates directly in uh, structures. Now, is it though? I don't know. Hmm. Gotta check that at some point. Good to go. Good to go. Let's go then. That's all of our Hydra ammo. Good thing is that we still have dead fire. So obviously turret first before we do anything else. And now we can concentrate on destroying the buildings. It, it seems that we are not getting any reinforcements here, by the way. I mean, I cannot punch the buildings. Mm, I can use my laser drill still. That's pretty good. And the plasma and everything. Alright, is that it? Ready to rock. I honestly have to say, I wouldn't be too unhappy to get more reinforcements here for the reason that uh, we could get another secondary objective done. And we were negotiating for quite a good amount of money here. And that money will directly translate um, into our bank account if we get another secondary objective. Uh, dead fire, standard. Oh, we cannot shoot indirectly with dead fire. Yeah. So, what we need to do is we need to push down the whole team. In order to get another angle on those buildings. That's crazy. Uh, let's go. Alright, the good thing is that as soon as Skyrus is in initiative, we can just push forward, use the laser drill, and the plasma lands, and then destroy the last building. Like that, maybe. Got it. Run, don't shoot. Perfect. Alright. That was that. Pretty good mission, I have to say. <laughs> I didn't even need to spare my last Thunderbolt missile. I mean, obviously I could have just shot the second building with the Thunderbolt, uh, saving us a turn to do, but, you know, it's okay as is. So here we go. We got 837,000 C-bills. That's exactly what we need for the next financial report. We didn't get that much damage. Um, I'm sorry, Commander, but Section A, uh, Subsection 3, Paragraph 2, a contract dispute uh, has withheld the following items. Valkyria partial max salvage. Commando partial max salvage. Oh my god. Also, this is what they are doing now. They keep the good stuff for themselves. Uh-huh. I mean, I didn't need them, but... Okay. Okay. I want the boomstick. I definitely want the boomstick. Um, okay, so whenever I'm saying something like that, I definitely want that. Um, this is a priority for me that I see, and then sometimes when, when I'm scrolling down, I see a higher priority, and then my definitely that I just said is invalidated by that, so uh, bear with me guys, whenever I'm saying something like that, and they show something better, then uh, of course the thing that I said earlier is not, uh, is not valid anymore, just saying. So, streak SRMs, I don't care, uh, pirate ECM, I don't care, Excel engine, I don't care, I mean I care a bit, but not that much. Uh, jump jet, small cockpit, alarm ammo, streak. Hmm. Yeah, it seems that we couldn't salvage the stuff from the turrets. Damn. Damn. I wanted that. I wanted that real bad. Okay. Anyhow, we have the boomstick. Boomstick, a weapon that can fire into melee. Hell yeah, I like that. And I want to probably put that into my Black Knight. Maybe. We will see. Can we? I don't know if we have the hard points for that, but we will see. It is just a nice weapon system to have. Um, we could also take... Oh, wow. Slug or cluster. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, how does that work? It is a 100 damage item, right? And if we use cluster, it is a... 
plus one accuracy, evasion pip ignored, into 20 sub munitions with greater damage potential. Wow. I mean, this is just a boomstick that we can fire for a single 100 damage. It's pretty good. It has a recoil of 4. Yeah. It also gives us 20% melee damage increase. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, cluster or slug, cluster or slug, cluster or slug. Uh, I think I will go with the cluster for the reason that we got um, crit, crit potential here. And I like that idea. Oh, we can deal 100 damage! Oh, this is super, super tough, but maybe we get both of that. Let's go. Uh, we got three machine guns, two SRM2s, the pirate ECM. I'm happy about the fusion cores. This is just money that we can use. Um, and we got streak SRM ammo 3. Alright. And the guardian ECM. Cool. Again, I'm a bit unhappy that we couldn't get that single missile launcher ammo that uh, was shot at us twice. But... It's just the way it is, I guess. Anyhow, guys, that has been your episode of Rogue Take for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a rating. If you want more of that, click that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get the notifications. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's a link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.